everyone. Thanks again for jumping on. I'll go ahead and kick things off. If you have a question for Ricky, please use the raise my hand option. Ricky, back uh, here in the swing of things as far as regular season play. How's the week been for the team as you guys navigate preparations for Orlando? Yeah, I mean, it's been a great week so far, to be completely honest with you. It's incredibly uh, warm in Houston. It's like the rest of the country are finishing up the summer and we're getting ready for the summer to start here. But yeah, the, it's great to have everyone back on the field. Um, the group's worked incredibly hard. We go into match day minus one tomorrow, but it's been great to have everyone finally back on the field and um, ready, to, ready to go for Friday's game. Thank you for that. If you guys have a question for Ricky, please use the raise my hand option. Dustin, go ahead. Hey Ricky, welcome back. How you doing, Dustin? Good. I know you said uh, everyone back, um, but just um, how is, how's the team looking? Um, everyone available for Friday? Yeah, I mean, like everyone's back, you know. For us, it's about creating an environment now where we got competition in all our areas of the field and I think we got that and yeah, everyone's fresh everyone's excited for the game so there's great energy around the training ground and you know that's what we want going into a game against one of the teams who's you know done so well so far so for us we're excited we're looking forward to it and we're ready to embrace the challenge. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> everyone likes winning games, you know, and I think when you win games, you confidence grows and the ideas grow and people buy in and, and get after it more. And, you know, the, again, the competition for spaces grow. People are scoring, people are creating assists. We're keeping clean sheets. So for that part of it, it's great for the group. It's great for our mentality. It's great for the direction we want to go in. And yeah, everyone, everyone's in a good space right now. Everyone's under the same roof, which, is, which has been fun. You know, it's been a, it's been a long summer. Um, so to have everyone back under the same roof is, uh, is what we're ready for. Thanks, Ricky. You're welcome. Manny, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, look, listen, whenever any of our players go on to the world stage and they perform on the world stage, we're incredibly excited for them, you know, not just for them individually, but obviously they're also representing Houston. They're also representing Houston Dash. So for us, we're incredibly excited for them. We, you know, we're excited for the fact Jane was in the environment she was in and part of the successful winning US team. And the same for Tarsi, you know, I thought Tarsi was potentially one of the best defenders in the entire tournament. So, and Michelle's always, whatever game she plays in, whatever environment they're in for Nigeria, she's always a big part of what they're doing. So for us, we're just incredibly proud to watch them in that platform and at that level. But we're also thankful that they're now back with us and, and ready to push on with us in the league play. Yeah, I mean, listen, our, our goal is to win the next game. You know, we're taking it one game at a time and that's the focus, to be honest with you. We, have, we, we haven't really had weeks off. Um, we've been on the training ground. Our schedule's been managed in terms of workload and what we do when we do it. So from that angle, we've, we've been in the training ground. We've been working on things. You know, we also had an in-house game that uh, was really beneficial. So for us, we've just been putting our head down, trying to work on the details, looking at the things that are important to us and focusing on the things that we know are going to help us going into the game on Friday. Thank you and good luck on Friday. Appreciate it. Thank you. Theo, go ahead. Hey, Ricky. Um, how was the break in terms of something Jane... I, I know there was a summer cup and there was another mini break. Um, something Jane mentioned way back was like everyone getting space. How was that both 
in terms of what you can see in the group and, and personally how we can make a bit of space for the regular season. July, you mean? The July break? Like the mandatory week break? Yeah. But just like not having to worry about the standings, um, maybe so much. Or maybe you were worried about the standings during the month. I guess like give me the, the vibe of, of the squad and you, considering we've had a month without regular season. Well, listen, I, I, I'd say we're excited to get back and play. You know, I think the summer series was really good in terms of looking at some of the things that we wanted to adjust and, and, and refine. From that angle, it was also good from making sure people got plenty of opportunities to showcase what they're capable of and what they bring to the team. But for us, the most important thing is, and I think everyone's hungry and ready for, is to get back into the league and, and to get into a position where we, we feel like we're going to move up the table. And we, only, we know that only happens one game at a time. So we're just going to focus on Orlando, what we want to do in Orlando, the things that we want to try and manage. And we're excited. We're, we're incredibly excited, you know, to come and play in Houston in this temperature right now. I think the heat index yesterday was 114 degrees. It doesn't matter who you are. When you come into that environment, it's going to be incredibly difficult to play in that environment. So for us, we're excited. We're looking forward to it. We train in this environment every day and the team's just hungry to get back out on the field and try and win some points. You mentioned it there, like the things you want to do, you want to impose on Orlando as the top team in the league. Um, can you say a little bit more about those things? I'm sure there's things you don't want to share, but like, what, could, what can you tell us about what the team is trying to achieve or impose? Well, listen, you know, I think if you looked at the way we've played all season, you know that we've played with three centre-backs and how we try and build out the areas we try and the areas we try and find. So I don't think an awful lot's going to change from that angle. How we set up the areas that we attack, the areas that we allow them to play in, that's what's going to manage the game for us. So we're excited about that part. We're excited about refining some of those areas that we want to attack. But we also know that Orlando, you know, you don't you don't end up at the top of the league by luck. You get there because you're consistent, you get there because you have a high work ethic and you get there because you're dangerous and you take chances. So we also know that we're going to go into a game playing against a very good team who's, who's on form, but our job is to make sure we turn up and change that. You know, we've, we've got to try and execute, we've got to try and be good in possession of the ball, not give the ball away and then when we lose the ball, relentless in the areas that we want to um, try and win the ball back. And... That's the challenge, right? We play, we play in the best league in the world and we know that if we don't turn up on the day that we'll make it difficult for ourselves. So for us, it's about trying to execute, trying to be consistent, but also trying to be relentless. Finally, um, we've seen other teams be quite busy in the transfer market. The window is open for another couple of weeks. Again, I know, I know there's things you can't share, but like, are the clubs actively looking at players or moving players out Yeah, I mean, we're all on the same page here at the club. There's daily communication, you know, whether it's uh, with Pablo, in Jess, in everyone's always in the building. They communicate with the staff, the staff communicate with them. As far as players are concerned, we have a great squad. And I've said that, I've said that since I've taken over. We have players that are capable of winning games. We have players that are capable of closing games. So for us, we're incredibly happy with where we're at at the moment. And our main focus is just going into Friday and how we, how we play, how we perform against one of the best teams in the league. And that's where our focus is, to be honest. One game at a time and what we can do to be at our best come Friday night. Thanks so much, Shatan. Rocky, and good luck on Friday. It should be a great game and uh, stay cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks everyone, we'll have this and additional items available.